We're here with another cooking video. Uh, 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 uh. So today I am making. Let me show you. It's cold. It's rainy, and it's nasty outside. So what do you have? Beans. Fifteen bean soup. So I always get this bag of beans. So that I can make them and I do some rice with it so what I do is right here is my soaked beans I didn't soak them overnight I ran water on them first to make sure the water runs clear okay maybe I'll do it this way so that I can pull the water out Make sure the water runs clear. Run a little bit more water in it just to rinse them one more time. And they've been soaked overnight, so I'm just rinsing them real quick. Let this water run off of it and stop to run clear in a minute. You'll notice it go clear. Oh, I'm losing beans. Don't be losing my beans. All right. So it's about to run clear. Because these beans have, have done, um, these beans are looking quite good. Let me get a spoon for them. Look, look how clear it is now. What's clear? So now I'm gonna dump it. Connor, go sit down for one second. So now I'm gonna dump it. Set it to the side and rinse my. Yes, I do mine with ham hocks. Either ham hocks or um, turkey neck. Hey guys, I prefer the um, the pork neck bones. Those are better to use. They have more meat on them. They're less fatty. The ham hocks have a lot of fat on them, but I used them before, so it's not a problem. All I'm going to do is put them right back in here. set up over near the stove and I'll be right back okay so this was the pot that I had put the um the ham hocks in if you hear clicking in the back it is that little boy oh I have to turn the stove on I'm putting it on medium I'm getting some chicken broth Actually, I don't, I do want to take the ham hocks out because I want to be able to stir the seasoning and stuff in with the beans without knocking against this. So I'm going to set this right here for a minute. So I did want to put that in there. Let me get the beans. And slide them right on in here. So now I'm going to fill it with some chicken broth. Okay. 
I know I'm definitely going to need more juice than that, but right now I'm not putting it in. I'm going to wait. This packet actually comes. It's a seasoning, low seasoning packet. It actually comes with the um, beans. It comes in the pack with the beans. So I'm using that. You don't have to use it if you don't choose to. But I use it sometimes and sometimes I don't. It just depends. This tiger seasoning, y'all, is amazing. It's bomb. And I've been using it ever since I got it when I cook. Mm -mm. Okay, so now I'm going to put a little bit of onion powder. Pepper. Garlic powder. Salt. Not too much salt, because remember, I have these hammocks. You see, I wanted to stir it without any. So now I can drop the ham hocks in. Move it around. Okay. That's it. I'm going to cover this, put a top on it, and let it cook. It's on medium right now. I'm actually going to turn it up to medium high just so it gets to a raging bowl. And then I'm going to turn it down to medium, a little bit before medium, like medium, medium low. And let it simmer for about maybe two hours. I'll bring you back. So here's the rapid bowl. So if you see it's on a rapid bowl now, I'm going to turn it down to medium low. And let it do what it do. And look at the color. Look how the color has changed. Look how this color has changed. Let me do it. Okay, here we go. It hasn't been two hours, guys. I just wanted to bring you back to let you see the boiling. Where I wanted to get to a rapid bowl before I turned it down. So here we go. Now, it'll be two hours before I bring you back now. Two hours later, I done made the rice, which y'all don't need to see rice being made. But look, I'm about to take these neck bones out. Look how it's cooked down. I'm going to add some more water in. I'm going to take these neck bones out. And then, let me take these neck bones out and then I'll bring you back. So here it is, I took the neck bones out. The juice is thick. So what I'm gonna do is add some more water in. I'ma taste it and then add some water in it. I'm about to fill, remember I um, used all of this. I'm about to put some water in it, shake it around and fill it up. Okay, so I didn't, oh yeah, this is thick. Now I'm about to taste it, oops. This is thick now. I'm about to taste it. Look at that. Let me put a little bit in this bowl right here. I'm going to taste the flavor real quick. Let me see. Mmm. 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 Oh, yeah. Mmm. 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 I can put this water in there. There's so much flavor in this. This is okay. Mm -hmm. All that water was needed. I filled that up halfway. I didn't fully fill it. All right, I just turned it down. I'm gonna just let this simmer now for another two hours. Mm -mm -mm -mm. So I'll be back. Cover it back up. Okay, guys, I'm back, and this is a uh, done. This is done. I already have the bowl ready with the rice. And now this is done right here. I'm about to set it up. This has been cooking all day. 
cooking all day, so it's been simmering. For the last three hours, I've had it on a low simmer, so it's like a rolling bowl. Look at this. This juice, this gravy is bomb in here, okay? So now, next time you see me, it'll be plated. Hold on. Actually, guys, I'm not going to. I'm going to let y'all see me plate this. So let's do this here. Mmm, look at that. I need my, um, ladle. Let me get my ladle. Hold up. Here we go. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Now that looks amazing. With the pork ham hot. Yes! Oh my god. There's your meal right there. Mmm, mmm, mmm.